Hello everybody and welcome back to Japanese Power Pills 2019. And this is gonna be my first translation video for you guys. Really first proper translation video for you guys. Um, and it's just to get some of the important stuff out of the way. Um, and yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like and subscribe if you want more of these translation videos, blah blah blah. Let's get right to it. Let's get right to the important stuff today. I'm gonna be doing um, these settings. And I'm going to be doing game settings for you. If you ever want to play a game, if you ever want to know certain things about the settings, if you want to tweak some things that you don't like or whatever, this is where to go. So you get this menu screen right here. The first one that I'm highlighted right here is my settings. I'm going to go click that. And the first run right here is for the uh, game options. <clears throat> and first draw right here, um, not that one, is um, basically like really any of these, you can just leave them on yes, but right here, this 12 and uh, 9 is for your innings and what this basically is is um, if you select it you can pick whatever innings you want to play how many innings you want to play if you want to go little you can play six innings if you want to go junior league you can play seven or play regular nine innings you can do that <clears throat> this one right here is actually for um, how long you want um, for extra innings to go if you want a limit um, and basically, the Japanese rule is if you can't go past 12 innings, if the game is tied, then it will end in a tie. But if you want to, you can click um, this option right here to just have it go through extra innings and not stop until there's a winner or a loser. <coughs> and um, that's basically it for this column right here. Um, really, this is not that important. Um, I don't really. I, I just leave everything on yes. I mean, if you look at the, if you click on the options by pressing O. Um, you get the yes or no options. Um, I don't, these, I, I think they're like have to do with like replay or something like that. Like if you want to replay or anything, I really don't pay attention to them, and I really have no problem with them being on yes or whatever. So, <clears throat> and I'm very sorry if I sound like crap because uh, for some reason I just started choking on my own, you know, whatever. But <laughs> it's, I, my, I choked on my own spit, so it's whatever. It happens all the time before I record. And I sound like crap. But anyway, so this is important. I actually just got rid of this off my screen. I don't know why I did that. I have a little bit of a translator off to the side here. Um, so just bear with, bear with me for a second as it tries to translate it. And I don't like it. I don't make any sense. But all right, so I got it. So the first option right here is actually for whatever announcers that you want to put into the game. <coughs> um, you can actually pick. What announcers you can have and there are different options here um i have it set to i think this is the original guy i'm not quite sure um actually i don't, I don't think so but they're just different voices you can kind of like uh you know like change them to hear whoever uh, plays i know there's two options that have like the same voice for the same guy and i'm very sorry if i keep blowing up my microphone but um there's just different options they can pick for whatever announcer that you want to play in. Um, this this is for replays. If you want replays in the game, you can just press yes or no. Um, my phone is blowing up. Uh, player information displayed. Um, I usually keep it this on this option. I'm guessing that just shows the information for the players that are hitting, like their stats and whatnot. Um, I like to keep that because I like to know who's you know who how well somebody's doing, what their stats were, blah blah blah. Um, this is uh, the special ability director. Um, I just leave it up on yes. Home run director, I keep that on. Um, defensive zoom, um, I keep that on as well. Um, I think that's for like in the infield. They like to show like different camera angles and go off to the side or whatever. And this option, for some reason, I like to choose a lot because it changes the atmosphere of the game a little bit. Um, this is for how much people you want in the stadium. This is basically how popular you want the stadium to be um, with your audience or whatever. And basically right here, the first option is a full house. Um, this one is, you know, there's some seats available um, that aren't taken by people. This is like, uh, I want to say like a little more than half full. And this is like just a little bef below than half full. Like the stadium is pretty empty. And I kind of like that because in the last season I played, my team was like playing like crap. So I just made it so that nobody showed up because my team was playing like crap. But you can do that if you want. <clears throat> this is um, the, uh, I think it's like the, it, I don't think, I know it is. I'm just trying to explain it. It's how much fans you want from one team to another. So basically, like, this shows, like, the regular, like, this option that I have highlighted is what it usually is. Um, 
and it's for there's more home fans than there are away fans. This is like kind of there's a little bit more away fans in the crowd, but there's still a lot of uh, home fans, and this is like half and half. Like there's a lot of visiting fans, but also a lot of home fans. So it's it's pretty much split um, to however you want it to be, and um, I I just don't touch this option. I just keep it on there like that. And this is the VR mode. Um, I don't have VR, so I don't bother touching these at all. I mean, I probably bet it would be fine to just keep them on auto or whatever. Whatever they have it on. But I don't have VR myself, so I don't really bother um, doing that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to press back again. <laughs> I thought I was playing a regular game. But also, this is for to change a setting. You can kind of just go from OK and, you know, press to the right. But it will also highlight it. You see right there on the left side of the screen, it is highlighted on automatically. And basically it means that it is that's basically the option if you want to change anything and this option down here is to um, I believe I'm actually not. oh that's to uh, change any option like if you made an option but you want to redo it and you want to just reset it that's the option that you click right there and it just resets everything so um, I didn't oh, I don't know if I did anything wrong there I don't think I did anything wrong Oh, I might have just reset it all my default, but that's fine. I can change that in, in, in the future, whatever. Um, and this is um, and also an important option page right here. Let me just try to get my image for this. My phone's being very slow, or at least the, the Google Translation app is being very slow. So we have this page right here. Hopefully it doesn't take forever to translate it, and it does not. And so this is um, important stuff. This is for um, if you want to use analog or just... Um, uh, regular just hitting like timing mechanism thing I think for hitting I believe this is what this is for um, obviously this option this is digital speed for some reason you can't click it because I guess you have to be on a certain difficulty in order to click it um, this is the vibration function I can just I keep that on player tone um, I mean I just keep it on regular I don't really touch it uh, much as well but this is pretty much important if you want to like lower the difficulty a little bit um, on your game if it's a little harder for you. This option right here is the ball level and basically what this is is I believe like when the ball is hit I think. Hold on well I can tell you this one right here this is the ball speed for when you're hitting and pitching. Um, this shows you um, the options. Let me actually take a picture of this really quick. I'm very sorry if this is a very sloppy video um, I'm, I'm really doing my best to translate this for you guys. So, um, I have it on this option right here, which is a little slow. The first option is very, is like slow. This is a little slow. This is like normal speed. Um, a, this is a little quicker and this is fast. Like the, the ball will zip right by you if you're hitting. I keep it right in the middle here. I can always change it to slow if I really start to play like crap, but, or if you want a little bit of a challenge, you can keep it right in the middle like that. So, this is very important. I would like you guys to understand that this option right here that I have highlighted is very important in knowing if the game is very hard for you or not because you can like when you start hitting with the cursor it has it on default but the pitches are very fast still anyway so I recommend changing this setting if you feel like you are not hitting very well because the ball can really fly in this game and I would strongly recommend you guys to change this option to either the option that I have right now which is a little slow or slow the slowest it can get or really just this option I recommend this one because it's in between normal and slower but it's you know it's manageable you can you know it's not a big upgrade to that like you'll win every game or you'll hit amazing in every game um, it, it's kind of you know just like it still gives you a little bit of a challenge but you won't be you know playing like amazingly so I recommend you using this option in my honest opinion for you guys um, this is just camera's perspective for um, hitting and pitching um, I keep it on regular but you can also in the game and I'll show you that um, when I get to the uh, gameplay settings which will be in another video um, you guys can actually hit R3 you can hit the right analog and it will change the camera angle for you and it will, you can cycle through the camera angles. And what's cool is that they will wait for you to see what camera angle that you want. They won't pitch the ball. Like, it won't screw you up or anything like that. So, I recommend doing that. I don't really think there's any need to go into settings to change this. So, I definitely recommend doing that. Hit R3 whenever you're playing the game. But I will show you guys that once I um, do a gaming up for you guys. Alright, this is the uh, hitting system. Um, this, is, this says meet 
the cursor. This is in lock. So I'm guessing. All right, this is this is the hitting system. So this is for if you want a cursor, like if you want like a you know to move the right. Uh, the, oh, excuse me, the left analog to hit the ball. This is just to um, I think hit the ball you know without it. And I'm not sure what the third option is. I'm pretty sure it's probably kind of the same thing. It's probably just a timing me mechanism. Um, this is rock on level. That's what this says in translate. Not really sure what that means, but can't touch it anyway. Throwing system. I have it on normal. <laughs> Um, I recommend that you basically just tap whatever button you need to throw to base like first base circle second base is triangle and third base is square and whole play is X it's like any other game but you just press it and the game will just throw it for you most of the time really like 95% of the time it will be a good throw it will be a decent throw so they like won't throw it away very much um, throwing cursor um, I just keep this as it is um, the different settings here is to don't show it cursor is less Cursor is a change point, and I don't really say anything for that option, but I keep it on this one. Um, guide, I usually keep it right there in strike zone. Um, I do have it on view, but it says strike zone only, only history, and don't show. So this is if you don't want the strike zone to be shown at all. This is to show where you've hit the ball, where the player has hit the ball in the past at bats that he's had. And this is just for the strike zone only, doesn't show um, where the you know the history has been for when the ball you know whenever the guy has hit the ball or not and this is the regular where it shows everything and I I recommend doing that I mean it doesn't really make a big difference it doesn't show it within the whole at bat to where uh, well actually no it does whenever you throw a ball in a certain at bat like it will show you when they hit the ball as they come up to the plate in their last at bat but it will show you where you've pitched the ball like if you're pitching it will show you where you've pitched it and so that you can kind of like change it up a little bit or you can sh see where the other pitcher has been throwing so you can kind of see a tendency from that certain player so but and that's this option right here that I have highlighted I keep that on um, it gives you a little bit of an advantage to know where he's pitched the ball and things like that all right next one option here is for defense so like so I didn't really say this before this is just the basic options this is hitting throwing now we got defense um, throwing options I have it at a type um, I, I just keep it at that. Uh, defensive shifts selected is at full screen. I keep it there. You can also put it at simple if you want. Um, the formation, I just keep it on normal. That's the, the option right there is normal. And uh, this one doesn't say anything, but the option is area. Um, let's see, there's, there's pinpoint area and don't show. I keep it on area. I have no problem with this at all. For some reason, my translator is not picking up whatever that says to the left of it, but... That is fine. And uh, this is just everything to, um, you know, uh, the autos. This is the autos and autos and manuals. I usually keep everything on manual um, because it's just a little, you know, it, the game is not that hard in regard. I mean, you can change to um, if you want to have defense um, manual, I think. This is blow operations. I don't know what the hell that means. Operations in general. Fight operations. Throwing out. Okay, so this one right here is important. If you want it to just be, like, throwing to be on auto this you click right here and you can click manual or auto all right that's important defense if you want the defense to be on auto you can just click that and change it to to um this is catch auto that's what it says right there i'm not really sure what this middle one was you can kind of find it out yourself but I, this one right here says that catching um the fielder getting the ball um it will be auto so you don't have to worry about trying to get the ball um, the players will just get it right for you and the, the players replacement this is for um, like if you don't really want to manage the team you can kind of just have the computer change the players in and out what substitute what substitutions come in what pinch hitters come in defensive subs pitching subs whatever um, you can change that to manual or auto and now this is a muy importante part or very important part um, to this this is your computers settings this is what you change for the computer and how tough you want or how easier you want the computer to be and this first option right here is just the overall strength for the computer and it's basically I like to think of it as a system as in like if you ever played NHL or anything like that um, if I can uh, go up here I pressed the wrong analog <laughs> first option is basically rookie mode this is just rookie mode you know the standard beginners mode that you get in the game this is like a semi pro mode it's right in the middle of uh, you know pro mode like normal mode or you know easy mode so this is kind of like a, a 
like an easy medium mode. This is normal mode. I keep it on it because it gives me a little bit of a challenge. Um, I'm not sure if the game automatically sets you to this, but um, I myself like to put it on normal. Um, this is like all-star mode. It's a little bit harder, um, but you know, I mean, it'll, it'll be harder if you're like really not that great at the game and the game's a little bit trouble for you. And this is superstar mode, power, it, or what is translated to powerful mode. And I, I mean, unless you, <laughs> unless you're really freaking good at the game, you can go ahead and put that on powerful mode. I don't necessarily recommend it myself. But hell, if you feel like you're up to a challenge, then go for it. I'm, I'm all for it. And uh, it's the same options for right here. Um, I believe this is for, I believe this is for their hitting, the, the computer's hitting, they're running. Uh, and I believe they're actually no. This is oh, okay. My translator is being very freaking weird right now. I do, I do not understand why. Let me try to take a picture really quick. I'm sorry if my ringer's on. I just realized that. Um, the first option right here is for it says strike. I don't know what that means. But this is for running. This is for their base running. Um, I believe this is for their their pitching. I believe this is their pitching. I believe this is for their hitting. Their hitting strength, and I believe this is for their defensive strength. Um, it's for some reason my translator is not picking it up right now, but this is the overall, um, you know, setting that he wants to be at. And again, it's the same thing for every other option. So I'm pretty sure this is pitching, running, uh, offense, and defense. I am almost certain for you guys, but I mean. I don't know, I, I like to keep it all on like one mode, I don't really like to mix it up, like have one on Rookie or one on Superstar or whatever. I usually don't like to do that in my personal opinion, but you guys can go ahead and do that if you want. Um, this is for the player's condition, so this is for like, um, let me just see right here. Um, yeah, this is for like the players themselves, like this is like the strongest option that you can get, but I usually have it on, I think this is like the regular default option that I have it on. Um, the throwing cursors, um, I have it on Dosho, Jesus, I did not mean for you guys to hear that, I am so sorry. I forgot to turn off my ringer, I apologize, but, um, I usually have it on Don't Show, because I don't really need to see, you know, I don't, I, I don't really want to know where they're throwing. This is a computer guide, um, I just keep it on the regular, uh, directions. Strike Zone, I have it on View, this is the viewing option. Again, it's the same thing, like, Strike Zone only, History only, or Don't Show it at all. I like to keep it on View for the whole thing. Um, and this one, I have it on Don't Show, it doesn't translate it for me, but I just keep that on the default because I don't think it really has any difference in the game at all. So this is very important right here. Um, these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 options are very important. They're the difficulty that you want the game to be in. Again, this is like easy mode, easy medium mode, medium mode, medium hard mode, hard mode, alright? So that is going to do it for my settings game settings video for you guys i really hope you guys got something out of it i it was a little bit hard for me to do this but <laughs> i tried my best and i'm really sorry if i did a really bad job but i, I if i just hope that you, it helped you guys if you were trying to get this game at all to know or if you had this game at all and you want to know what's up with it um to know how to change your settings because i think those are very important because a lot of people say this game is very hard but they don't know how to change the settings. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys just know what I'm talking about. And I hope you guys have fun with this game as much as I do. So again, I'm very sorry if my voice is, my voice is actually starting to get really out of it. It keeps cracking a lot. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like it more, subscribe it. If you want to see more videos let me know in the comments below if you want to see certain things that you want me to show you i will show certain things like in this menu screen right here for the settings i'll try my best to translate it for you guys again i'm just trying my best for it i am nowhere near japanese i am a all american i am an irish italian german polish american all right so I know, and the only language i really know is english so but i love this game so much that i just kind of wanted to know what everything says and also it's basically just muscle memory honestly it's not really knowing what the text says it's just muscle memory remembering kind of like remembering what the text looks like and just kind of like you know just realizing like oh that's this is this i'll just change that but you don't really necessarily have to think about it you know it's kind of just muscle memory in my personal opinion so thank you guys so much for watching again i hope this video helped 
I'm sorry if it was a little bit rambly or really bad. I'm sorry if this was a terrible video, but I'll just stop talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys.